Hello and welcome back. Are you drowning in a sea of receipts and paperwork? Tired of manually entering data into your SharePoint list? What if I told you that there is a way to automate this tedious task? Welcome to our channel. Today we are diving into the ultimate guide on how to process receipt image data and effortlessly upload it to your SharePoint list. So stay tuned to transform your work and reclaim your time. So first of all, I'm showing you some receipt images taken from the phone. So this receipt have two sets of data. One is the primary data, which goes to the main table in terms of who is the merchant, when the purchase was happened and the total cost. And then we have more detailed data, what individual item we have bought in that receipt. So we'll be capturing that information in a separate list. So we will be using two lists, receipts, to capture the high level information about that receipt and the receipts item to capture all the items within that receipt. So this is the receipts list where we have a title, transaction date, the total amount. And also we will produce a link to that receipt so we can view the receipt directly from SharePoint list. And then if I go to receipts item, you will see the each individual item title. We can save it here, unit price for that item and then also link back to the main receipt via a lookup column. So we will know that these receipts item are linked to that particular receipt. So let's go back to the Power Automate flow and then create a flow. For this demo purpose, I will use this out of the box document library to upload receipts images. So let's go to the Power Automate. From the left hand menu, I will click on create and then I will select automated cloud flow. I will give this flow a name. I will call it receipts processing flow. And in terms of trigger, we need to trigger this flow as soon as we upload that image to the document library. So we will search for file created. When a file is created in SharePoint, this is the trigger we need here. So I will select that trigger, click on create. I will select that trigger to see the left hand menu. We need to select a site. Our site is called site A. So I will select the site from this drop down, site A. And the document library I will select is the main documents library. So we are done with that trigger. Let's add some actions. So first action we need to add is we need to get the file content so we can process this information and extract the receipt data. So I will click on plus icon, add an action. And I will search for get file content. I will select get file content action of SharePoint. I will select site address. In our case, it's going to be site A. And then the file identifier will select a dynamic value. I will click on this blue icon. When a file is created, I will search for identifier. So I can select the identifier property to be added here. So this action will return us the file content. Next, we need to add an AI action to extract the information from this receipt. So I will click on the plus sign, add an action. I can click on AI Builder or I can search for the action here. The action we need is extract information from receipt. So I will select that action. In the receipt file property, we need to provide the data from the file. So this is going to be dynamic value. I will click on this blue icon and then I will select file content from this previous action. We are done with this action now. Next, we need to create a sharing link because we want to save the link to the receipt inside SharePoint list. So someone looking at the receipt data, they can click on the link to see the actual receipt. I will click on the plus sign, add an action create a sharing link for a file or folder action. So we will select that. In terms of site address, as I said, we are going to upload the receipt images on the same site inside this documents library. So we are going to again select site A and the library name is going to be the documents library and the item ID is going to be the ID of that created item. So I will select a dynamic value here. When file is created ID. So that's the ID we need. Link type. 
we can create view and edit or view only link because this is going to be an image and the seed data we do not need edit option here so we can just select view only link type link scope you can select anyone with the link including anonymous or people in your organization or you can enter a custom value so for me i will select people in your organization so only the people in my organization will be able to view the receipts we are now done with this action as well next we will create record in the main receipts list so if i go back to sharepoint as i mentioned before we will have receipts list where we will save the merchant the transaction date and total amount and the seat link and then we will save the all the items for that receipt in a separate receipts items list so first let's populate the information in the receipts list if i navigate back to power automate i will click on plus sign add an action and i will search for create item action create item sharepoint action i need to select a site it's going to be site a list name first we will populate receipts list and then if I click on this show all to see all the properties in this list. So first property we need to populate is title. So for title, let's add the merchant name. So I will select this dynamic value here. And here you can see that we got a lot of information extracted from this AI builder. So we can select merchant name. For the transaction date, I will again click the dynamic value. I can click on see more here. We have two options here, transaction date or time. So we will select date. In the total, if I click on the dynamic value again, and if I click on see more, I will select this total value. This is the total amount of that receipt. And then we have receipt link. If I click on dynamic value again, this time we will select sharing link from the previous action where we have created that sharing link for that receipt. I will select that. So we are done with this action now. So this create item will populate the information in the receipts list. Now let's create another action where we want to populate all the detail in the receipt items list. So this is the receipt item list. We need title of that product, the unit price, and then we need to link it back to which receipt it is using this lookup column. So I will go back to Power Automate. I will click on this plus icon, add an action. I will select create item action of SharePoint again. In terms of site, we will select site A and the list name, this time we will select receipt items. I will click on show all to see all the fields available in this list. So for title, if I go to this blue icon here, we will add the dynamic value and from the action where we have extracted the information from the receipt, click on see more and here we will select purchased item name. So you will see once I select the purchase item name, this will go into a for each loop, which means that you can expect more than one record in the receipts item list for that particular receipt. So I will select purchase item name. You can see the flow I've created for each loop here. Next for the unit price, I will click on this dynamic value. And then from the extract information from receipt section, click on see more and then I will select purchase item total price and then for the receipt ID we need to connect all the receipt items to the receipts we are created here so I will click on this drop down enter custom value click on this dynamic value and then I will select the ID of that receipt so the flow is completed now let's recap the flow we are triggering a flow when a file is uploaded to a document library which is essentially a receipt image we'll get the file content and then we'll pass those content to AI Builder to extract information from the receipt. We also creating a sharing link to be added to SharePoint list link field for that receipt. We are creating item in the main receipt list in SharePoint. And then for each sub item in that receipt or each product we have bought in that receipt is going to be saved in the receipt item list in the SharePoint. So let's click on save and test this flow. Flow saved successfully. I will go back to the site A and then I will navigate to the documents library. I have this sample receipt. I will drag and drop this receipt into this document library. The receipt is uploaded to the library. 
this will eventually trigger a flow and the flow using the AI hub feature will process this receipt information and extract it and then add into the receipts and receipts items list in SharePoint. While we are waiting for this flow to be completed, I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to all our amazing subscribers. Your support means a lot to us and it helps us create more content just like this. If you are finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Now let's navigate to the receipts list. So you can see that the Astra Store LTD was the merchant name. This was the transaction date and the total amount and we can see the link to the receipt. If I click on that link, I can see the receipt and we can see the total amount is £4.50 which is matching the total amount we can see on the SharePoint list. Now let's go back to the receipt items list. We can see there are three items we have purchased and each item price is added here. Now one thing you will notice that I've created the unit price as the text field and you can see there is some non-numeric information like the pound sign and D and V are also added here. If you're looking to extract numeric value from a string in Power Automate, check out this video showing now for a detailed guide and step-by-step -step instruction. And then once you have seen that flow, you will be able to extract just the amount from this string and add it to a number column in SharePoint. And there you have it. You have successfully automated the process of converting receipt images into your SharePoint list. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We would love to hear about your experience and any question you might have. Until next time, happy automating.